What's up everybody? It's your boy Nick Needles coming at you with another great video. I'm super excited because this one is all about Supreme. It's back in season. Um, there is a week one online release this week, which we never really see from Supreme. It's probably because of the coronavirus. They want to limit how many people are in store the first week. So they're just going to do both an in-store and an online release. And we already have um, pretty much a whole drop list that we're going to go over. I'm going to give you my resale predictions as well as what I'm going for. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see a live cop, let's get this video to 20 likes and it will come through. So let's go ahead and just look at the website. Um, I'm on Supreme Community, but I also follow Drops by Jay. So I would follow those two sources to see if these items change um, because we are only two days away from it. And it could change within those two days. So looking at some of these items, uh, the first thing we have are these playing cards. Um, now, I'm a big fan of these. I'm definitely going to add them. This is a really good multi-card item. I don't know how fast they're going to sell out, but if you can save on shipping and tax by combining this with a couple of other items, um, this is definitely a good item. If it's below $20 or even like below $10 in retail, then it can definitely resell for like $30 or $40 probably right off the bat. And I could see these going for like 50 plus in the future. So yeah, this is definitely a must cop for me. So next we have the Verify T and Supreme is just clowning us at this point, but this is my favorite tea I think that's releasing this week. I just think it's very goofy and funny. Um, and you know Supreme is about to hit us with like five captures when we hit process payment. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what colors are releasing for the t-shirts, but for resale purposes, definitely go for black, white, gray, if you see like a very out there color, like a nice olive or like a pink or teal or something like that, um, that you don't really see that often, that could also be a good investment. But for the safest option, I would definitely just go for the black colorways. Next we have this basketball. Um, this is a very good investment. It got canceled last season, but it is coming back into this upcoming season. I won't be going for it, but this will definitely have some resale value for sure. I don't know what the retails are on basketballs, but I'm assuming they're gonna be under 50 or $60, and some of the basketballs now go for like four or five. Um, so this is definitely a really good hold item and just a really neat item for the collection if you're in a basketball and Supreme. Next, we have the Pharaoh Sanders tee. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know much about this dude. One of my roommates does. He's a big like jazz person and saxophone player. Um, but, you know, I don't really know much about this guy, but I know he's just a legendary, you know, jazz saxophone player. So I might cop this. I'm not sure. It is a very nice photo tee. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, this is definitely going to resell in the black colorway for sure. Um, usually some of the other colorways in photo tees don't do as well as the black and white colorways. But if you're looking to cop for the personal, I would definitely look at those other colorways because they're going to be the easiest to grab. This water bottle is actually pretty sweet. I like how it collapses. I don't really see that much free sell on this, um, but this is definitely a really good personal item, especially if you can combine it in a cart with other things. The Futura logo, this is definitely a good piece for resale. Um, I don't really know much about this collaboration, to be honest. It does have the nice Justice for All print on the back, um, so you go, you'd love to see that. This is definitely a good hold item. Um, I think within like a year, these will be over $100 in probably all the sizes, maybe even at $150 plus. Uh, but yeah, black colorway, don't sleep. Try to go for XL or large. Um, those will probably be the easiest ones to grab. If you want it for the personal, then definitely go for size medium. Next, we have this projector. I'm not really sure how this is going to do because we don't know retails yet. Uh, if it's under like $100, then I would definitely scoop this up. But this is probably going to be in the $100 to $200 range. So the margins on resale might not be that high. But you know, if you're looking for a projector, this is pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. Uh, looks like it has an HDMI input and maybe USB Type-C. I'm not sure what, what this IO is. But this is definitely a hard piece. I'm not going to go for it, but I could definitely see the appeal of it. Next, we have the Camo Logo Skateboards. I don't really know much about the skateboard uh, resale market. This pink one is pretty nice. I think if you were to go for any of them, it would be the pink one. Um, but yeah, I think there's just better skateboards to go for this season, so keep a lookout on those. Um, I really like this hooded sweatshirt. Is it gonna resell? Probably not, maybe in the small sizes. Uh, this pink colorway is probably gonna sell the best, in my opinion. Pink stuff in Supreme usually always slaps. 
uh, but the black and the navy colorway are also super clean as well. If you can get these in a size small, I think you're gonna make the most profit, but this is also just a really good personal item for the season. Definitely one of the better looking hoodies, way better than the fucking Crossbox logo. Don't even bring that up around me. Um, going into the backpacks, uh, you know, black backpack is gonna be the best option. I don't really like the leopard print or the other ones, um, but yeah, definitely black backpack is gonna sell out first week for sure. Um, definitely a good multi-card item if you can get that as well. But you know, if you're feeling any of these colors, then go for it. This headlamp is a pretty cool accessory. I really wouldn't use it, but I could see the appeal of it. I think if this thing is under $40, then it could resell, but anything higher than that, and the margins are gonna probably be pretty small um, because I don't really know a lot of people just looking for a headlamp, especially um, a Supreme one, so that's just my opinion on that. I do think it is a unique accessory. Next we have the watch plate. Now this thing is pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. If you can't afford the watch that's releasing later in the season, this is the next best thing that we have. And honestly, it's a pretty sweet plate. Depending on the retail, I might have to cop. Most of their uh, plates and bowls usually are 40 or $50. Um, I'm not sure how the Waves Bowl was doing, but I'm sure it's doing decent on the resale market. So this is definitely another good item to multi-cart. This is really is just the week of, to multi-cart items, just because there's so many of them. Um, you have an opportunity to do it because the only things that are really going to sell out super fast are probably some of the t-shirts in size small. The other things I think you'll be able to get into a multi-cart if you can check out within a minute or two. Um, moving on. This balloons tee, not a big fan of it. I don't think it'll resell that well unless you can get like a small or a size XL. Um, but yeah, I would just focus on something else. The boxer briefs, uh, I'm not really sure how resell does on those, but you know, if you need them fresh briefs, I guess go for it. Jet skateboard, this is a pretty nice skateboard design. Um, I think that all of them will be pretty profitable. I think all of these will sell for double retail after week one. This is definitely one of the better skateboard decks this season. Um, this spring summer top, it's all right. It's not gonna resell. Um, but yeah, if you need a nice Supreme Con shirt, definitely go for it. Vortex S logo six panel. Um, you know how I feel about S logos. I love them. I definitely need one for the personal. I don't think it's gonna resell though, just cause it's Gore-Tex. Um, the, re the retail is gonna be around $60 for these, which is about $12 higher than usual, I think. I really like the olive colorway, so I'll probably go for that. Um, but yeah, this is definitely just a good personal item. Definitely not for the resale though. These waist bags, I really like the black one especially. It's definitely gonna pop off. Um, I would just go for that. Go for all the black bags in my opinion this season because they always resell well. This this uh, simple New York tee, definitely not gonna resell. Um, they've just been running this type of design into the ground recently. So um, again, unless you can get like a size small, I wouldn't bother with that. The jet tee is super fire. Um, I don't think it's going to resell. I think people are going to be more focused on the Pharaoh and the Verify tee. So this is definitely a sleeper item to go for, especially if you can get it in the size small. I'm going to be going for this in the personal. Um, I don't know what colorways again, but I do like this red colorways. I don't own any Supreme red shirts, so I might go for this colorway. Um, the socks, we don't really need to talk about that. Lover's tee, you know, I would just keep an eye out for the colors again, um, but I'm not really feeling that design. I don't think it's gonna resell. Smurfs, regular jeans. I I don't know how to feel about the Smurfs collaboration, honestly. Th that's just not it. The pants aren't gonna resell, I don't think. Um, there's just other things to go after this week, in my opinion. Tees, you know, those aren't gonna resell. This S logo New Era hat is pretty fire. Um, I just, I love this, the frost on the S logo and like the ice and shit. Um, I don't really like new era hats. I'm more of a curved hat guy and I don't really wear snapbacks. So this isn't for me, but I could definitely see these popping off. Um, some of the new era hats go for like stupid money, like the MLB ones. Um, that was a collaboration, but I do think this is a solid design and I could see these flipping for 20 or $30 throughout the season. Um, mini duffel bag, don't bother. Sling bag, don't bother. Smurfs of Cortex, don't bother. Retail's gonna be way too high. Uh, big R crew neck, don't bother. Them shits is ugly. Multi logo tee, nah, not really feeling it. Uh, portrait hooded t shirt. This is more of a, uh, I don't really think this is gonna resell. This is a, definitely a unique design. This is a little bit different. Um, we don't see a lot of prints like this, so I don't think it's gonna resell, but it is a nice personal item to be honest. 
this blowback rayon um maybe i don't really know the market for rayons honestly but i'm not really drawn to it the beanies are definitely always a good investment week one um i really like the penguin one it look, kind of looks like the linux logo this Futura Logo 5 panel, definitely a decent investment. Um, again, with the Logo Tees, I think they're gonna be a good hold item. So if you can get one of these in the multi-cart, you know, definitely hold on to it. It'll definitely go up in value. The studded hooded sweatshirt is just not good. I like the design. I just don't like that it has all like the gems and shit on it. Like you just walked up into Claire's. Zip tote, not a bad bag, especially in the black, but I don't think it's gonna resell as nice as the backpack and the waist bag. This sock, the soccer polo, you know, it's got the Supreme box logos on it, but unfortunately the patchwork just isn't that great on it and I don't think it works that well. Gore-Tex pants, don't think about it. Regular jeans, good personal item, not gonna resell. Neck pouch, uh, this bag is just so weird. I don't even know like what it is, if there's even a zipper on it or if it's just an open bag. Uh, definitely not gonna resell. The jeans, you know, there's so many jeans releasing this week, I don't even know which ones you would want to go for. Stay positive, T. This is one of the worst designs Supreme has done. It's way too corny, it's not good. Um, you know, none of these items really look good. I don't, I hate these, I hate jerseys, I, don't, I hate these items that just have random Japanese letters on it. Like, what does this even mean? I don't know, that, that's just tacking to me now. Um, tire tees, this has to be actually the worst tee. I thought it was this one up here, the stay positive one. But I mean, like, what is even the point of this? It's a tire, like, I, I don't know. Coming from the guy that has the keyboard t-shirt. But uh, that's another story. The blocks hooded sweatshirt, not hot. Um, oh shit, we have the Minecraft shorts. These are, like, I'm clowning them, but I kind of want to take a picture with this, with like a creeper t-shirt, that would go hard. Um, but yeah, definitely not going to resell. Um, looking at some of this other stuff, I'm not really seeing anything that's catching my eye. Honestly, all of this stuff is pretty garbage. Um, this one actually is not terrible. Um, I've, I've seen a couple YouTubers talk about it. It's definitely not for me, but I could definitely see the appeal of having a bunch of gold chains. But yeah, that's pretty much what I think of this week. I was going to make a whole like lookbook review, but that video was gonna be way too long and I just didn't wanna edit me talking about like hundreds of items. So if you hit that like goal that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we'll do the live cop this Thursday. But uh, you know, let me know what you're excited for this season and I will keep bringing this Supreme content. Thank you all for watching. Filipino crew, crew, know how I do. See me out in Raleigh, I be ballin' at my school. He be ballin'. Computer engineering, man that shit is hard. Real hard. Ignoring all the side